Hello there. This is a Precision Matthews PM25 milling machine. One of the things that uh, people learn quickly is that there is no spindle lock on the machine and the way that they uh, mean for you to, uh, to lock the spindle when uh, loosening the drawbar to remove the chuck is to use this um, C-shaped tool which uh, is inconvenient at best because if you're down here holding this with one hand, loosening the uh, drawbar with the other, your tool or um, uh, chuck will fall out. So in essence, you need a third hand. That's what I've created. I have this uh, newly designed 3D printed spindle lock. Uh, it's plenty strong for the job. It fits up on top of the spindle and it drops down into the, uh, uses the flats on that collar to hold the spindle from turning. Uh, the tool that I use to uh, turn the drawbar itself is a 7 16 um, reversible gear wrench. What's nice about it, it has 12 teeth so it works very, very well on this four-sided um, uh, on top uh, of the drawbar itself. So I will begin to loosen it and keep my finger on it and once you reach the point where you're about to uh, release from the taper the, the friction goes up a little bit and then you're broken free. Once you've done that it's easy enough to uh, spin by hand and remove the uh, chuck. So there it is. Um, to uh, insert the tool You'd reverse the process, find your uh, set screw, uh, again spin it up as much as you can by hand and you'll find it takes a little bit of practice but you will reach a point where uh, you can't conveniently turn it by hand, then uh, flip the tool to, to tighten, uh, pull the drawbar tight and then uh, remove the spindle lock. Uh, that's about all there is to it. This is a uh, part that I have already loaded the source file and an STL file up on Thingiverse. Uh, doesn't take very much plastic and uh, what I found is that uh, it really does help the situation. Hope you enjoy it and uh, feel free to comment.